How's everyone doing? I'm Tobin, and in this video, I want to share with you what I do with a new brush before using it. Last week, I received this Juniper Handle, the 26mm Manchurian 2 band Badger Brush, a limited edition from MRED. This is also an MRED brush with an olive handle, and I have this one out just for comparison on the knot. And so you can see in the photos that I've attached to the video what I expect this knot to do. This is one of my favorite knots. I absolutely love it. And so when I saw this handle, I had to jump on it and add it to the collection. First thing that I do is just turn on some lukewarm water. And I'm basically going to do a lot like I do if I was going to shave. In fact, that's a lot of what we're doing here is going to mimic that. I'm just going to soak the brush and work my hands through it just a little bit. And then we'll put it in my soaker mug and I'll let it sit for about five minutes. You can see the water is already coming out clear. And let it soak for about five minutes. I don't think you need to worry about bacteria whatsoever. The knot comes from China. It has been months since the fibers were harvested, maybe even a year or two. I don't know exactly, but it's been a long time. Bacteria can only live on most sur surfaces for up to five days, and that's if it's getting moisture. Bacteria without moisture cannot survive. My badger was not harvested five days ago. Let's say it picked up bacteria along the way. Well, the bacteria isn't going to be able to withstand the, the action that I'm about to do. We're essentially going to treat this just like we would washing our hands. We don't need to use antibacterial. We don't need to use white vinegar. And also, if you have a healthy immune system, you really don't need to worry about this. these everyday household bacteria. You're coming into more contact with more bacteria elsewhere. I mean, I'm in the bathroom. This place and the kitchen are full of bacteria. I'll see you in about four minutes. It's been a little more than five minutes. And what I'm going to do here is something that I've done with dozens of brushes. And it's also what many artisans will recommend that you do. In fact, the process that I'm doing here, I'll put a picture on the screen, is the exact process that Michael, the artisan at MRED, recommends you doing. Drain out a little of the excess water. I've already scooped some Perazzo Green into my bowl. Now we're just going to build a lather. I really think that anything more than this is overkill. You know, if you have a compromised immune system, you should worry about the bacteria. But if you don't have a compromised immune system, all you really need to do is worry about getting any big particles or anything else that might be left over. This knot, these fibers have already been washed prior to me coming into contact with them. And so all I'm really concerned about getting rid of is any and all dirt. That's really it. Let's go over to the sink. Here at the sink, I'm just going to run my fingers through the brush, much like you would if you're washing your hair. You can do the same exact process with synthetics. In fact, synthetics, I do it slightly differently. With a batcher hair, I will do as Michael recommends, and that's, I do this process twice. The synthetic, I almost always only do it once. Okay, so I feel like I've worked the soap in well enough. 
Now we're just going to turn on the water and rinse it like we, we normally would if we had just finished shaving. If you've seen my daily brush tips video, you know that I run my fingers through the brush more. Let's give it a squeeze, see how clear the water is. If it's clear, we got the soap out. Okay, so now I'll stop the video. I'll build up another lather and come back with some final thoughts for my second washing. For my second wash, I rinsed the bowl out. I'm gonna reload it. This time I'm going to use Diver Down from Phoenix Utterson Accoutrements. This is the Mug Puck soap that I have put in my vintage Seaforth mug. I'll work up some soap into the brush and then I'll be back. I've been working the soap for a couple of seconds now. Feeling like I got it pretty well and loaded. Let's repeat the process. I have worked up a great lather just like I would if I was going to shave with it. I'm going to work it through like I did the first time and then I will do the exact same rinse process again. After doing this, we'll dry it gently on a towel and then let it sit for 24 hours. 24 hours from now, if it's not dry, I'll let it continue to hang until it is dry. But within 24 hours, room temperature in the house, it should be dry. Got my lukewarm water. I've been working my hands through the brush. Diver Down smells so good. For those who don't know, Diver Down is a homage to the vintage Seaforth, which is why I have it in that mug. I also have the shave stick and a tub of CK1. The mug puck is a CK6, so is the shave stick. Give it a squeeze, see if it comes out clear. Sure is. Going to give it just a few shakes. We'll take it over to the towel. I know some people will tell you not to do this, that you can hurt the tips. In my experience, this is only going to hurt the tips if you have a cheap badger brush. I'm not pushing hard. I'm basically pushing as hard as I would if I was wiping my body. And if you think you wipe your body hard, and if you're a father, just think that like you're drying one of your children. It doesn't take a lot of force. And if you recall from that picture that I put up on from Michael's website, this is what he calls to do too. Like I shared in my daily tips video, I like to splay it out a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Just helps get some airflow in there. And then I'll put it on my shave brush stand and let it dry for 24 hours. Hope this helps. I got a lot of questions after that first video. Absolutely love Michael's work. If you've never checked him out, you can find him on Instagram. He's mred and he also has a website. And I'll put a link to that in the description. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Be mindful of the little big things. And for me, one of the little big things is not overstressing about germs and stuff like that. Y'all take care.